Where there is light, there must also be dark. So, the thieves of Navarro lived in the shadows of the world. Going in. Get ready. Taking candy from a baby. Ah, a thief! No, not my money! <sighs> you had to make this complicated. Now that I have your undivided attention, let me give you some advice. You've made a killing swindling the people living hand to mouth in this town. Now's your chance to put yourself in their shoes. Maybe you'll think twice about your dirty business practices now that you're the one who's lost all his money, huh? You should thank me, really. That's rich, coming from a common thief! How dare you! <laughs> Touché. But something tells me you'll get over it. Farewell. Try breaking a sweat with an honest day's work for a change. Thieves were known to sweep through towns, stealing ill-gotten goods from the undeserving rich. While their leader, Flamecon, held down the remote desert fortress in the sand dunes. I've returned from the raid, sir. Well done. Oh, you haven't heard. Lord Fla Forgive me. King Flamecon has disbanded the Thieves' Guild and declared Navarre an independent nation under his rule. We're wasting away in this forsaken desert. Mana power is shifting and threatening our place in the world. Our people's resources the waters of the oasis are drying up. We'll lay siege to the kingdom of Laurent in the north and create the Navarre Nation. Now, His Majesty has a meeting to attend, so you just sit tight. wrong? What is Flamecon thinking? He's never been ashamed of our thievery before. How can we give up our entire livelihood, our creed? And for what? <sighs> what is going on? And there's something strange about that, Isabella. I know she saved the Lord's life when he was stranded in the desert. 
but making her second in command? What's her angle? I'm sure my father has the people's interests at heart, Hawkeye. If the wells we all depend on go dry, we can't live here forever. So... But a king? Flamecon hates monarchies. So now we're going to bleed the citizens of our new nation dry to fill the king's pockets just like our enemies do? How will we be any different from them? Stop insulting my father! Oh, what? Did you want to play the part of the pretty little princess, Jessica? Stop! Hawkeye, there's something bothering me. By now I'm sure you've heard about the invasion of Laurent. Have you noticed anything strange about my father lately? That's exactly what I thought. We two have grown up together here in the fortress, so I knew you must have noticed it as well. I knew it. He hasn't truly been himself since he went missing in the dunes last month. Fortunately, that newcomer Isabella found him before he... But I swear, nothing has been the same since. If my hunch is correct, Isabella may be at the root of the problem. But no more. I will expose her for the evildoer she is. Give me a break, Eagle. Don't rush on ahead. Something's got me on edge. I better go after him. Shh. 
Stay vigilant. Huh? We'll surround them. I'll go to the other side. Understood. Do pass on my message. Hold, fiend! We have you now. Whom have you snuck into the fortress? And what have you done to my father? We'll continue when pests are taken care of. I'll leave them to you. <gasps> oh! You children will find out there are things better left unseen in the world. But no matter. I will have you forget my little secret. Just like Flame Khan. Stop manipulating my father! I'll throw you out of this fortress myself! <laughs> what an innocent babe. It hurts! Yo, what's wrong? You have to run, Hawkeye! Must eliminate Hawkeye. Must be destroyed. No, this isn't you, Eagle. Fight it. Oh dear, he can't hear you now. What will you do? Attack your friend or perish on his blade? Must defeat. Kill Eagle. Stop this. I don't want to fight you! Alive, I see. Oh. Allow me to fix that. <laughs> Eagle! Eagle, no! <laughs> uh. You. You did this to Eagle! You foul! <laughs> <laughs> I'm done playing, child. <gasps> Someone, come quick! The man's a murderer! What's the problem? No! Not Eagle! How could you? Don't move! I would never! Let me out! Murder is no laughing matter. Your execution date is being decided. I suggest you reflect on your crimes while you wait. <laughs> oh! Best be quiet, dear. If you tell anyone, your friend Jessica's life is forfeit. What have you done to her? Oh, 
I just gave her a cursed little present, if you will. If you step out of line, you may not like the consequences. <laughs> Me out. Versus. Is someone there? Anyone? Jessica. My brother. Equal. He. They're saying you did it. But that can't be. No one was closer to my brother than you. You couldn't have. So tell me, who killed my brother? I... Talk, and, and her life, life is forfeit. forfeit. Please, tell me, who was it? <laughs> Hawkeye! Why won't you say anything? No. It couldn't be. But you... And Eagle? <gasps> Jessica! I believe Mew! I know Mew are framed! Come on! We need to get away from here as soon as possible! Ah! Uh, 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 quick! Through this hole! Isabella will pay, but I can't stick around to fall any longer. Carson Purr, as and Mew mentioned, I think it's the legendary Choker of Death! If the stories are true, once Mew put it on, Mew can never take it off! And if Isabella dies, Jessica will die with her. But the Purrist of Light in Holy City Wendell might have some leads! Mew should leave Navarro and find the Purrist. <laughs> I'll take care of things here. What? Okay. I trust you, Niccolo. Take care of Jessica while I'm gone. Hey, you take care of me yourself. Don't worry, I'll look after Jessica. The prisoner is loose. Stop him!
Eagle, don't, don't worry. I swear on my life that I won't let anything happen to Jessica. I, I have to leave now, but... I will be back to avenge your death, dearest friend. And I will save your sister. Jessica, you have to stay safe until I return. Please be safe. Hawkeye, pained by the loss of his dear friend, set off for Wendell to find a way to lift Jessica's curse. forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. A Beastman invasion. Well, no one said this was gonna be easy. Picking a lock is child's play for a thief like me, but not with guards swarming the area. Beastmen of Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark, you hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the Beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. Perhaps someone can keep me company at the tavern until nightfall to uh, avoid these guards. On second thought, maybe it'd be better to rest at the end just in case.
fantastic. The magic barrier is in the way. These lockpicks are useless then. Yes, I should look elsewhere. saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too. Light? What? Wow, that was a strange light. Now I'm curious. It might be. You alive? Uh, uh, I... Uh, I'm alright. 
Oh. Who... who are you? I'm from Navarro, but I saw the light from the Astoria Inn. You can call me Hawkeye. I see. Oh, I have no other option. So I suppose you'll do. Hold on. What? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please, I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. Hmm. I can't fly... That's actually where I'm headed anyway. But there's a barrier around the cavern. We're stuck here until further notice, I'm afraid. I can get us through the barrier. But we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. The Sanctuary of Mana? Wait. What on earth? That came from Astoria. Sorry, I, I gotta go back. Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry, I'm still here. Don't delay. We must see to Astoria. Uh, she's talking in my head. That is the weirdest feeling. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on it. So, why are you heading to Wendell? There's a small matter of a cursed choker that I need to figure out how to remove. You haven't had an easy time yourself. Everyone. This looks like the work of beastmen. What cowards? There is no time to waste. We have to get to the Priest of Light as soon as possible. Oh, Wendell is in danger. is blocked. Oh, funny story. Hmm? Fairy can break the barrier. Oh! Light in the forest. Last night, I saw a bright light in the forest that was... Fairy? You are going to Windle. Me too. I need to go there. I've got to. Lost my friend. Carl. Carl the wolf pup. No mom. Neither of us. But 
We had each other. Best friends. We were best friends, but Carl attacked. Then, I don't know. Don't know what happened, but my body was burning up. I, I hurt him. Carl didn't make it. Transformed, because I'm a beast man. But I'm not with the beast men invading Jad. Not them. I'm half human, too. And Carl made me happy. He cared, so I cared. We were friends, was a trap. Carl didn't mean it. The king did it. A trap made me transform and hurt him. Tried to get revenge, but I lost. King is too strong. Priest of Light in Windle can bring Carl back. He said, strange man said it, so don't know if it's true. But if it is true, gotta try. As long as there's a chance. Monsters all over Cascade Cavern. But I can fight. Fight with you and help. Kevin. My name is Kevin.